Welcome, in this video I'm going to show you how you can use a binomial distribution with Python and not loading any other libraries. So not even the Python's um, uh, core library of math. Um, the most common way is actually to use the third-party library from SciPy. Uh, if you're interested in using any of those, then I have separate videos on this. This is just on how to do it if you really don't want to import anything else. Um, I'm also just going to show you how it can be done. I'm not going to talk too much about what the binomial distribution is and in which situations you could use it. If for example, you want to perform a binomial test, then I have a separate video on that. Um, these are the formulas for the binomial distribution. Uh, the two that I'm mainly focusing on is the probability mass uh, function and the cumulative density function. All right, so um, you don't want to use any other libraries, then we first have to have a look at the so-called binomial coefficient, which uses a factorial. And factorial is just re uh, it's like uh, multiplying. So if you have uh, x equals 5, then you have 5 factorial, which would be 5 times 4 times 3 times 2 times 1. Now we can uh, do this ourselves. So since this is just repeated with changing the value a little bit every time, we can do a loop and simply say, well, we start at 1, and then for uh, every value in the range um, till that value, we just do f times uh, 1 plus uh, i plus 1. Why the plus 1? Because um, uh, if x is, for example, 5, it would actually exclude 5, so we need to include it. And uh, the range will actually start at 0, so then we get 0 plus 1, at least 1. And then uh, multiplied by the with the previous result, and that should give us, indeed, the factorial. There's also a recursive method to do this. Uh, it's uh, x times the factorial of the previous x. So if you want to do that, you can use this little function. It does exactly the same, has also the same result. And now we can actually calculate that binomial coefficient and simply say, well, the factorial of A and divide that by the factorial of B, that's this part, times A minus B factorial, so times A minus B factorial, and then return the result. So if I do this, I get the binomial coefficient of choosing, sometimes it's called the choice uh, version, of choosing 2 out of 10. There's an, uh, also a recursive method for this. If you use this one, uh, then you can say, well, it should stop actually if b is 0. So if uh, we don't have any over here anymore, or if it's the same as the top one, then there's simply one option left. And as soon as b is greater than uh, this one, then there are no uh, options more left, because you can't choose 11 out of 10, for example. Uh, and then it just uses the a minus 1, b uh, minus 1, that's these two, uh, and then a minus 1 and b, so that's these two. So instead of a and b, I should actually change this formula to showing a and b um, instead of n and k. It's sometimes a little bit annoying to choose a variable, but a and b, so we could do something like this. Alright, so I can use that one as well, and of course it gives the same result, also 45. There's another um, another one that is A and B, A and B, and that's also recursive, same result in the end, also 45. Alright, next we can now focus on that probability mass function. We have this binomial coefficient now. These are just multiplications, so we can just calculate all of this, the binomial coefficient with our own made function, multiply by p to the power of k, so twice an asterisk is to the power of in Python, 1 minus p to the power of, and then again n minus k. Alright, let's use 10 um, as our number of trials, 4 as the number of successes, and 0 0.3 as the probability of success on each trial, and we finally can calculate a probability, which in this case shows that the probability of having 4 successes out of 10, if on each trial the chance for success would be 0 0.3, is about 
2001. Last thing to do is then that cumulative density function. In here you see that floor operator, which um, basically means to uh, round uh, down uh, if it's positive and round uh, away from zero, if you will, if it's negative. So we can do that by just saying, well, if it's positive or zero, then you just take the integer of the value, then it basically rounds it uh, down. And otherwise you take the integer of that value, so if it's negative, um, and you subtract one, and then we should have our nice floor function. So 5.9 should give me 5, because it rounds down, and minus 3.1 should become minus 4, because it should round away from 0. Alright, now that we have that function, we can actually fill out everything in here. Uh, this is just a sum, so we can use our for loop again. Uh, we're using our own floor function, we're using our own probability mass function. So yeah, no other libraries needed, and this should give us the cumulative density uh, function, so 0 0.8497, and that's therefore the probability of having four successes or less out of 10 trials. And that's how you can create your own uh, binomial distribution functions using Python core only. These can probably heavily be optimized, um, and probably if you use a library uh, like SciPy or uh, at least Math, uh, it goes a lot faster, but it can be done. In the appendix, I'll leave a link to this notebook in the description below. Um, there's actually a small explanation of how those formulas came to be. So if you're interested in that, you can read that. And um, I hope this video was helpful. Thank you for watching.